I was just kind of selfish, and I wanted y'all to wear your costumes at church so I could see how cute y'all are. And guess what? You are. <laughs> you know one of the things I love about Halloween night? Kids come to the door, we're giving out candy, and they come up and they ring the doorbell, trick or treat. And sometimes their costumes are so good that I can't even tell who they are, even if I know them. And I was thinking about that this week. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer, for her costume. Girls, y'all want to come up to your costume? Come on. <laughs> anyway, um, I got to think about the fact that sometimes people's costumes are so good that you can't even tell who they are. And I was thinking about that in terms of our, our Bible lesson today. And there was a man named Bartimaeus, and Bartimaeus had been blind since he was born. And so he couldn't see. When Jesus came to Jericho, which is where Bartimaeus lived, he kind of lived on the streets, he was homeless, and he heard that Jesus was coming. And he heard Jesus, and he recognized Jesus, even though he had never seen Jesus and couldn't see Jesus. And you know how he knew that Jesus was the Son of God? Because of the things that he taught and because of the way he treated people. Because of the fact that he loved everyone. And when he heard Jesus coming, he hollers out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And some of the people was trying to get Bartimaeus just to go away and be quiet. But he wouldn't have any of it. He kept saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus called Bartimaeus over to him, and he healed him and made him sin. Now, I was thinking about sometimes, how do people know that we're Christians? Do we have a particular costume we wear that tells people that we're Christians? What are you today? Huh? A skeleton. And who are you? Freddy Krueger. And you're a firefighter. And you're a firefighter. And you're an 80s girl. <laughs> and who, who are you, Miss Ava? A monster. And this is Mario here. And Miss Jen is a nurse. And we can tell what you are by your costumes, right? But there's not a costume that says Christian, is there? So how do you think people know that we're Christians if we don't have a costume that says we are? Anybody have an idea? There's a song that I learned when I was in camp, and you'll probably learn it one day too. It's called, They Will Know We Are Christians By Our Love. So we don't have a costume that says, hi, I'm a Christian. <laughs> but people should be able to tell that we're Christians by the way we treat other people, don't you think? Because really that's what Jesus was about, teaching us how to love everyone and how to treat them with respect, right? So when you go out this way, my challenge is let people know that you're a Christian by the way you treat them and by the way you love them, by treating them the way Jesus would want you to treat them and the way Jesus treats you. What do you think? Is that okay? All right, I hope you all have a wonderful Halloween. And I have something before you go. I have a little goodie bag for you. But you have to make me a promise. I don't think Miss Terry and Miss Paula want the candy over in children's church. So I'm going to give you this when you get ready to go, but I want you to leave it with your parents. Okay? And then you can have it after church. All right? All right. Promise? No taking it to children's church. Okay? Don't give it to your daddy. Yeah. Because your daddy will eat it. I already know. All right. Let, let's pray. Gracious God, thank you for sending Jesus to show us how to love, how to treat people, how to be nice to them and treat them with respect, and treat them the way you would want us to treat them. We thank you for Jesus and the fact that he loves us. It's in his name we pray. Amen. All right, everybody take one. I'm going to hold on to yours, bud. No, no, that's not going to make you happy. Here you go. Give it to your mom. Give one for me, for Jordan. One for you. One for you. Here you go, Miss Ava. There you go. Well, you make it. Jen, you didn't get one. <laughs> Here, did you get one for being such a good helper? There you go, Jen. For being a good sport. Okay, and I'm going to keep yours now. You've got to go with Gigi, okay? you got to go to the nursing house. And you can have it after church. Bye. Bye, Mario. <laughs>